Good morning, Vera Sotom. Welcome to the program, Super Dawn. I am Vera Osopo. Well, it's a Friday morning, and we want to get you going into the weekend. Today on this program, we're going to have the newspaper review segment, and we'll move away to housing, which is very important. And today's topic is, is housing affordable? Or is affordable housing possible in Nigeria? Is it really possible? Because to an average Nigeria, this has remained very, very, very elusive. And we want to look at it, looking at housing, the fundamental human rights you can say or need is clothing, shelter, and uh, you can say food. But in Nigeria today, will you say um, we have affordable houses? Will you say that with government programs is really affecting the citizenry? Uh, looking at what is happening, we have from the United Nations, uh, we have a rate of over two, close to 200 million Nigerians living in this country. But when you look at the way things are going, one begins to wonder if we really are concerned with housing in Nigeria. And that's what we're going to be doing today on this program. We will open the phone lines. And also on this program, we have people come talk to us about real estate. And uh, we'll do all of that. And I'm sure it's going to be interesting. But first, we must start with the newspaper review segment. And um, we will do that shortly after this time out. Super Dawn, your daily live current affairs program where topical issues that border on politics, economy, sport, and sizzling national issues are analyzed. Now holds every Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Super Screen Television. Let your voice be heard. Join us. Welcome back. It's the Super Dawn um, newspaper review segment, and we want to start with the Daily Trust this morning. 2019 concerns over scant details on INEX website. Details about the upcoming 2019 general elections are scanty on the official website of the Independence National Electoral Commission INEC Daily Trust reports. Findings re revealed that, save for the countdown to the polls, vital information about the election schedule for February next year are yet to be published on the website of the electoral body. For instance, the personal particular of a candidate for the presidential and national assembly elections are yet to be up, 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 um, loaded in the website. One begins to wonder, uh, the election is in February, and we're not getting updates in the INEC website. This is really a concern. We also have picture story of um, plant seller protest over alleged multiple taxation and extortions by state government agents at Ikiri in Eruwolo, local government area for Shun State. Doctor slum on duty in Kogi Hospital. Another earth tumor hits Abuja. How Togolese cook killed boss in Lagos. I think I will get, um, just take that particular one before rounding off the new, um, Daily Trust report. The police in Lagos yesterday gave an insight into how Credit Suisse Chairman Chief Obi 
Badi Mossi was allegedly stabbed to death by his Togolese cook at his Parkview residence in Ikoi, Lagos, yesterday. The cook, who was only identified by his first name Sunday, had been declared wanted by the police. He allegedly murdered his boss on October 31, three days after he was brought from Undo. Nan gathered that the deceased wife had gone to the, ma to the bank when the cook carried out the act and only came back to find her husband in a pool of his own blood. This um, should be a lesson for all of us. Right now it's missing. And um, I'm going to read, it's a weekend, so I'll read um, how he did that. After committing the act, the suspect went to the toilet and pulled off his white cook uniform as it had been stained with blood. He left also the knife he used inside the toilet, the police source said. The source noted that the knife used in perpetrating the act showed that the suspect could be an ex-military man. Again, um, the police said we went through his things and found some old pictures of him putting on camouflage belonging to Republic of Bain, a military, the source has added. So um, <clears throat> I, I said I was going to take just this one uh, in the Daily Trust uh, before we move into the next paper. We must be careful with house managers. We bring them into our homes. You must get referees. You must get details about who you're taking in. Some of them are not who you think they are. Uh, we must be careful. Moving away from the Daily Trust, let's take some stories in the punch newspaper this morning and it says Ogun Imo governors renew attack on Oshomole <clears throat> and the writer says party chair has shown disdain for APC Buari's and Buari's interests are most I think we need to get that um, that story out it's not too interesting uh, for the APC party um, having issues with the chairman Ogun, Imo governor's renewed attack on Oshomole. Governor of Imo State, Rosha Sokorocha, and the Ogun State Governor, Senator Ibikule Amosu, on Thursday renewed the attack on Adam Oshomole, the national chairman of their party and the All Progressive Congress. While Okorocha claimed the fortunes of the APC had witnessed a downturn since Adam Oshomole took over as the national chairman, I'm also alleged that the party chairman and his cohorts were working towards handing over Ogun to a gang of expansionists. The Amosu's attack is contained in a statement written on his behalf by the State Commission of for Information and Strategy, or Tumba Debayo Adeniyi, a copy of which was made available to the Punch correspondent. Amochu, Amosu, who was reacting to Oshomole's defense on the crisis rocking the APC following its recent primaries, noted that Oshomole had visited injustice on Ogun State by not allowing the wishes of the people of the state to stand. Well, um, it's a long story here. You need to get hold of the punch so you can read. This coming from PDP also tells Tinubu, says, watch your tongues. Pinipu, uh, PDP tells Tinubu. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party has cautioned Tinubu not to join in the snare campaign and allege unsavory comments against its presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. The opposition party said Tinubu, as an elder state man, should not reduce his pedigree by engaging in what it's called in um utterances, which is said had become the trademark of his party, the All Progressive Congress. The National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Kola, said this in a statement in Abuja on Thursday. He was reacting to statement credited to Tunumbu, who reportedly boasted, boasted that APC will defeat the PDP and his presidential candidate in the 2019 presidential election. Tinubu had said the country will not return PDP 
which he alleged ran the country badly while in power for 16 years. Well, you need to also get the papers. You can read more. How to avoid cash check transaction in your business is the personal banking segment of the punch. We have in the papers, Lagos trader commits suicide to spite mother. A trader, Fumilola Adeodu, has committed suicide in uh, Iremi in Magboru, area of Lagos State. The 28 years old mother of two was said to have taken a, a local insecticide snappers to spite her mother for allegedly maltreating, maltreating her knees. Well, I don't know why you do that, but may I so rest in peace. So we're moving away, away from that story. Controversy as Lagos DPP declines prosecuting suspected APC talks. We also have in the punch this morning, um, we just take one math story from the punch. It says, police move in as crisis rocks a kitty PDP Secretariat. That's all we can take from the punch this morning. This morning, moving away, we have the new telegraph, and it says, "Governors attack Oshomole. Okupe, we will retire to Nimbu in 2019." We have Buari. Our accept outcome of poll. Amechi. Amechi says Buari will accept outcome of poll. Uh, we have here NNPC. 145 fuel pump price, unrealistic. And the writer says, signs swap agreement with BP and denies $3.5 billion on the recovery fund. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, yesterday said the current pump price of 145 of premium motor spirit or petrol was unrealistic. It said that no marketer would want to import fuel and sell at that cost. That was at the Senate, and that was as the Senate gave the corporation a two weeks ultimatum to furnish it with all the documents pertaining to how it had utilized the $106 billion, and that's about $383.2 billion national fuel support fund it set aside since October 2017 till date. Um, the Senate is saying, come and tell us, furnish us with your details on how you got, how you spent that amount. Boko Haram kills 13, renders 2,940 homeless. And this says, police discover training camp in Taraba. Federal government arranged 130 shades in court. We have nothing Islamic about shades protesters. Um, that's coming from the IGP. Custom seizes sees 67 cartons of tremadol and 538 bags of cannabis. We have 2019 Lagos. Agbaje Peak female bank director as running mate. Nigeria's economy looking good, says Buhari. Finally, from the New Telegraph, suspended, suspended NHIS boss suits ministers and NHAI. You need to get hold of the New, um, new Telegraph, um, then you can read more. We'll go on this break. When we come back, we have um, the Nation newspaper to look at some of the headlines this morning. We'll be right back. Super Dawn, your daily live current affairs program where topical issues that border on politics, economy, sport, and sizzling national issues are analyzed now holds every Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Super Screen Television. Let your voice be heard. Join us.
Come on, fan. Welcome back. Um, the Nation newspaper this morning. Memories of DSS invasion as Buari Daura holds talk. The President Muhammad Buari has set with former Department of State Services, the DSS, um, last weekend as Asu Rock in a meeting. It was also gathered that the meeting centered on resurgence of Boko Haram insurgency in some parts of the North, Northern East. The option before the president are either to close down Daura's chapter on the invasion or re-engage him in the light of what some have considered an intelligence deficit in the fight against Boko Haram. Well, Daura is back again and um, the president is reconsidering his stand on Daura. We, we hear, we, we have when they say they've defeated the Boko Haram sect. Um, but this keeps occurring where they kill people, they murder people, and they kidnap people every time. And I think we should really look at it and also begin to look at our intelligence gathering. We also have here in the picture this morning, picture story. Good to see you, President Muhammad Bouhari, receiving former President Lushago Basanjo's son at the State House in Abuja. Well, this is interesting. 2019, we won't interfere in our next duties, Amechi tells EU. The European Union has no preferred candidate in the next year's election, it said yesterday. The EU delegation head by Ambassador Kenti Kalinsim gave the assurance at the audience at the Buhari's campaign organization, that's the Director General, Rutimi Amechi. We also have the CBN Issues Guideline for Payment Service Banks. The Central Bank of Nigeria CBN yesterday unveiled operational guidelines for payment service banks, that's the PSBs. The move is to furtherance of the CBN's mandate of promoting a sound financial system and enhancing assets to financial services for low-income earners and unbanked segments of the society. Well, this is a good move from the CBN. How Ondo Chief was murdered by house help. We also have here NMPC mops up petrol price from fuel fund. Well, we'll see, we have some stories here. We'll take some of the stories here. No vision scape in environmental law, says Speaker. And the writer says, how to review law on waste management. Lagos State House Assembly Speaker Mudashiro Basa has said that there was nothing like vision scape in the consolidated law it passed on the environmental environment in March last year. Obasa, who answered reporters' question yesterday in Kutu, in Kuto, Abekuta, the Ogun State Capital, venue of a three days retreat on the law to consolidate all laws relating to environment. Organized by the Assembly for Members and Staff said the waste management law is among the law on the review. Gunmen kidnap seen man in Delta, and the writer says four million ransom demanded. We also have 23 suspected courtes arrested in Ogun. Rector urges workers to check health status. And the writer says, exercise to keep fit. NGO trained 4,053 women. Court remands for for allegedly stealing 1.301 billion from police. Operators intensified push for payment of EEG backlog. We also have this FRC inaugurate audit regulation working group. We will end multiple taxation in Bainway. CITN ICPC signed capacity building pack. Still in the in the the, the nation newspaper this morning 
the Southeast Report, the New Yam Festival, an age-old tradition uh, raiding the harvest season, took a new, new life in Ogidi, Anambra State, as son of the soil. Chief Obiora Okonkwo rallied his people in a colorful ceremony. Well, this is looking very good in the picture story. We also have the UNN graduates 82 doctors and dentists. I think I need to read that story and that will be the last story. Nigerian health, health sector was boosted with the injection of 82 young medical doctors from the University of Nigeria College of Medicine. Of these numbers, we have 70 uh, medical doctors while 12 are den dental surgeons. Presenting the graduates of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria for induction, a joint ceremony held at the um, held in Enugu State, the Den Faculty of the Medical Sciences, University of Nigeria. Well, you need to get hold of the Nation newspaper this morning. You can read more on it. Very interesting headlines this morning. This is where we end um, this segment, the newspaper review segment. And we'll go into the housing segment. Is housing affordable, really affordable? Is affordable housing possible in Nigeria? Is it really possible? We need to look at the option. We need to look at uh, growth indexes. We need to also look at what is obtainable in different states. We'll be right back.